done of all the adjustments as far as, you know, here we do adjustments height for, you know, depending on how tall someone is um, and, uh, and various locations. So all those types of adjustments are done, um, I should say, pre, pre-treatment. Let's do this. Once um, we have individuals wear earplugs, I'm not going to have. Sell this <laughs> I know, I was thinking about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ban a hand. <laughs> Notice I wasn't looking at the camera when I did that. Um, this is just. <laughs> So, um, what we use as a marker. What are you going to do with it? Put it on YouTube. Oh, yeah, I just put it Yeah. We are. We do. We use it as a marker for location, but also for tie in. So, I'm just going to start. And we, we as I said, we put earplugs in, but I'm not having yeah, cool. um, Roxanne there put the earplugs in. Once we get them link at the seated website. comfortably, right. then we have them go back in treatment position. So, as you can see, their legs go up and they're, they're leaning back. Um, and um, this. <laughs> <laughs> I had no doubt. I would call it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't have any of that here. I don't have any of that here. No, no, that one has it. This is what um, you heard Sam mention a couple times the disposable cost, and this is a Sinstar. So, this is something that has to be replaced each and every time. Um, so, that adds some expense. That click or sound you hear is just the, the magnet being released. It sounds more intrusive than it is. Once it pops in, then we have to, we just um, test it to make sure that it's working. All right. And again, this will sound a little louder. And that, that's, it's louder because it's not against the head. So you're just hearing it tap. So. Don't, don't be scared by that. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Um, okay. Roxanne, don't we have you as... Oh, no, test, test one. Yeah, there we go. Okay. okay. So we have all of her positions that have already been set up on this. Um, and with that, so we make some various adjustments in this. That really isn't going to have... Much meaning to y'all. When we initially um, do the setting, you do an MT. Yeah, that's why I was pulling it back from the. Oh, thank you. Maybe she's got her jewelry on. Um, yeah, you can't have any. Can't have any jewelry on. Want my ears. This is a way to help your jewelry stash along, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. So I put it in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's you why it's so expensive. Yeah. It is on your jewelry. <laughs> 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 it's not so hard on it. help with positioning, but they also help um, with um, keeping an individual's head um, positioned. Lots of times people are worried um, whether or not, you know, should I cough, should I sneeze, what's going to happen? Um, so we have the straps here, and as you can tell, they're just Velcroed. So um, they're not strapped in for anybody who's claustrophobic. Um, two, this gives us the opportunity, I mean, the machine gives us the opportunity um, that if we do not have good contact, it'll let us know. Um, and so, say somebody moves and they get back in position and they've missed a particular treatment, we call a train. So a train is four seconds on. If they've missed a particular four seconds of treatment, it'll tell us at the end, you missed a train, and it'll pick it up at the end. 
So this is really, that's where this is so user friendly. Um, because, you know, you can imagine they want to make sure they get each treatment. Yeah. <laughs> for good reason. Um, so we have, so we've got all the, the measurements in. And so we use the straps to keep it in. This, this what I'm adjusting right here is what kind of what I call a counterbalance. Because you can imagine as you put a magnet on this side, you don't want this without having some counterbalance. Um, so it's, again, it's got a little nice little cushion, so it's not anything um, that creates a vice. People really actually want it tight. Mm -hmm. It feels better. It feels better. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, that's, um, that's helpful, um, rather than individuals saying, oh, wow, what's going on here? Um, Okay, so now that we've got we've got positioning, um, we've got so I'm going to go above her left ear, okay, and and within that, that's going to be the general area where I'm going to be looking. so it helps me. And so any, when I have the green dots, it's telling me that I have, that I have good contact. So that's what I'm looking for. So this is the motor threshold. So um, what it does, and I, Roxanne, we don't, I'm going to slip back behind you. Huh? I'm just going to put pads. I'll just keep, I'll just do this one. Um, what you're going to be looking for is looking for, with the motor threshold, you're going to be looking for Roxanne's mm -hmm. thumb to be moving. Okay, we talked about the homunculus and we're looking for the finger. And so now we're going to be looking for, um, okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, you ever have a panic attack? Can you in the chair? Like as you're about to like, hey, I'm about to. No. Mm -hmm. No, I think because we have videos for them to be able to see, mm -hmm. so it helps. A lot of prep. Yeah, a lot of prep, a lot of explanation. Um, you know, I'm talking through the whole thing. We're doing this. We're doing that. I'm a little. I'm. I'm trying to be abbreviated and yet trying to tell you everything to make sure not. They've actually taken home a DVD that we give them okay. prior to their initial treatment planning. So they have already talked with us. They take that home. They look at it. They discuss it with their family. So they know what to expect, you know, when they come back. So we're gonna we're do, we're gonna do a manual pulse. Did you move? I'm My, uh -huh. no, I did. You <laughs> <I> did. <laughs> That's not the no, I didn't. <laughs> So with that, then we know, okay, then we're not in the right place and we're going to move it down. Because again, we're looking for location for, for her, her, her finger to be able to move. Did you do that or did she do that? She did that. Yeah. Thumb, thumb. yeah. yeah. Okay. So now I know the location of the motor threshold. Okay. So I put all the coordinates in. So now I'm going to move um, five centimeters forward. Okay. And I won't have Roxanne go through to a treatment. <laughs> she might like to do the treatment. <laughs> uh, I think um, I saw Sylvester or uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in this movie. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Someone said that today, actually. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. This could make a great movie. Um, this is actually, look at the screen, and I had talked about once you find the motor threshold, then you go through <laughs> some of the different tests because it gives you an average of intensity. So it'll go to low intensity, a high intensity, um, and to help figure out the average, of, you know, what you want is your, your regular intensity. Um, and then and then we go forward. Do y'all want to, does that help describe it? Do y'all want to see more of it? Is that I'm trying to decide how much Roxanne wants. <coughs> Is that a double magnet, the two green, on the head, on here? On, on here? No, no on, 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 on here. On the these head. two dots. Two little blue dots. It's all, it's, it goes around, all encompassing. The pad has coils underneath it oh, okay. that goes all the way around. It provides both a, a way to administer and help with the conduction of the magnet, but also provides a protective barrier from a heat perspective. 
Because we don't want to burn anybody's scalp. Right. Why does it have to be replaced every time? Um, because um, that's it can't be reusable. Um, it's done what it's you know. Once you turn the machine off, it mm -hmm. with all the sensors and everything that's in here, it can't be reused. Now, is that something that the companies created for themselves? I don't know, um, but it's such that. It can't. You've tried to reuse them. Oh yeah, it won't allow you. <laughs> it won't let you it do won't, that. It won't, it, it, yeah, it's a disposable, uh -huh. so it just doesn't allow you to do it beyond that. So this particular one, once we go through, once we shut it off, it's a so dud. Might as well yeah. give her a treatment. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Roxanne yeah. if she wants. One. So it's, it's not a way just to keep people from getting headlights or something. No, 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 no. Yeah, and you can see some of the protective barriers, things that we do, you know, so each person who's on the pads, we wipe it down, we have a little cloth and things like that that are unique to them, um, so that that way. Um, Would you do another thumb twitch? Another thumb twitch. <laughs> when you hit the wrong spot, does it do anything bad? No, you just feel it. Um, you know, it, you might have the eye blink, yeah. you might have the fingers move instead of the thumb. You and Theoretically, you know, if I'm, if I'm in the wrong direction, I can end up having the foot. Um, so is anything bad going to happen? No. Yeah. 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 your eye again? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, I, we've got it set up for, for uh, oh, yeah. this is so uh, different for me to go back and do it after the fact instead of going through the whole sequence. So I apologize. Where do we get now? Same place. Eye? Mm -hmm. Okay. Down to the nose. Even though you have some general landmarks, mm -hmm. how you have to spend some time in really finding mm. that right place. It's not only making sure you have contact again with my little, I know that I've got contact with the little <coughs> green dots, but it's going up, kind of up and down this grid um, until I've got. Feel anything? Mm -hmm. No? I'm dead. <laughs> it's broken. You broke it, Roxanne. So much for you being the volunteer. You should make someone else. I felt it. You did? Mm -hmm. On your finger? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And see, that's where lots of times where Roxanne will be on that side and she'll actually hold the hand because sometimes you can feel it it's versus not as actually. Pronounced as it right. Was the exactly. First time. Right. Exactly. Um, and that's it brings up an interesting scenario because we're used to not touching patients. Right. And so it's really kind of interesting, mm -hmm. you know, because the patients I've had of, that I've been doing the treatment on are all patients of mine. So, you know, of course I know them, but it, you know, you can tell you're. Much more intimate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so it's just kind of interesting from my perspective to look at it. Yeah. You know, from that perspective. Um, you know, and that's part of the reason why I like Roxanne with your holy hands to, you know, to do that. Because there's, you know, there's a sense of intimacy that, and I'm up here on this, on this aspect. Although there. probably not unusual for the patient at all, because in any other doctor's office, we could get a whole, yeah. Money, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm sure y'all can put yourselves in doing it from a therapeutic perspective in there, you know, and holding their hands. And, yeah, yeah, right, 